Hey everyone, it's Cameron back with a haul video. Um, this is kind of a mixed haul. There's some thrift store stuff here and a couple things from a garage sale from last week. Didn't get a whole lot. Didn't really plan on going out actually and ended up just uh, going last minute and buying a couple things. So we'll just jump right into um, what I got. Most of it's from a Sabres thrift store run and one other thrift store I went to on my day off. So um, a couple of media things. Here's a VHS here. Um, I don't do too much with VHS's, but this one was just sitting there in Mr. Rogers. It looked like it sold on eBay for 10 to 20 bucks. It's sealed. It was a dollar, so we'll see if it's worth anything. I usually don't bother with them. I probably should get into Amazon a little bit more, though, so I can see if there's any money in those. Everyone else seems to be doing it. Um, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. It's complete. It was 5 bucks, but 20% off. It's really only a maybe a fifteen seventeen dollar game uh... but for the three dollars and twenty cents at whatever or four dollars and actually it would have just been four dollars exactly uh... math is finally serving me correct um, and that one would you know make a little bit of money on it you know fifteen bucks but uh... still worth it to pick up it's an easy sale it'll probably sell within a day um... this is something it's like a massage thing called the vibra king interesting name um, it doesn't have the attachment here that would be needed for, um, the actual massage, but it does work. It sounds like a rocket ship going off when I plugged it in. It's pretty loud, but, um, it works fine and everything, everything moves and vibrates. So, uh, one with the accessories that you put on here that you attach can go for 70 plus. This was 10 with 20% off. Um, I'll probably try to get 30 or 40 just for the unit and see if someone needs it as a replacement. Uh, picked up some vacuum bags. They still sell, or some of the filters type things, they still sell. I just got to get them for the right price. Um, these ones were sealed. They're actually been opened, but all the bags are there. I think it was like 3 bucks for the whole thing, and it goes for 15 or 20 so that was pretty good. Picked up some shoes. I'm not an expert on shoes. The ones on the left are Cole Hans. The ones on the right are Churches. The Churches ones are a little bit worn, and by a little, I probably should say a lot. Um, but I think they were $10 with half off or something like that, so couldn't really pick pass on them. I figured I'd take a shot in the shoes and see how I do. Um, I've sold a lot of, you know, Jordans and Adidas and different kind of shoes like that, or A6 running shoes, but never really the dress shoes. It's not really a market I've gotten into, but I'm going to start looking into it, trying to branch out a little bit. Uh, I've also picked up a Levy, I think they're called, or this. This one has like a rattle in it. It was a dollar at the thrift store. I know some of these ones, especially the monkey ones, sell well. I think some of them do better when the, the monkey's in the center of the blanket and the blanket goes around him, but it was a dollar. We'll see if it's worth anything. If not, it's okay. But definitely look up. I think they call them loveys or whatever. Um, they can do really well. Some of them are going for 25 plus used, and you would not expect that. Um, the thrift store over here, these five V-Smiles, they were... Um, little VTech games, 50 cents each. Um, not a whole lot of value in them, but in a lot of 10 or so, you can probably get 25, 30 bucks um, if, on a good day. So for 50 cents each, it's worth picking up. And I have some other ones in stores that I'll pull out and see if I have enough to do a lot. I kind of bought these ones to hopefully move the other ones I had. Um, at a garage sale, the one thing we bought that was really worthwhile, my son and I, uh, these horses right here, the three on the right, and this one, who, two on the right, and this one over here are briars. Um, they're in good shape. They're 50 cents each. I've sold briar horses in the past. Um, the ones that are glossy are older. They're usually worth quite a bit of money. These ones are newer ones, not worth a ton, but in a lot, you can easily get five, six, seven, even up to ten bucks per horse, depending on what you have. So I'll just hold on to these. This one's a Schleich, um Unicorn. I, look, I saw this one, um, afraid to be worth something. Um, it's worth probably about 10 to 15 by itself, so that was easily worth the 50 cents. Some up, upside down here. Oh, some of them are, but it's the um, Maxell VHSC TC30 uh, cassette. These ones are for like cameras and stuff, video cameras. There's only seven in here, one's missing. Um, I paid 25 cents a piece. So a dollar seventy-five. Um, I think this will go for fifteen or twenty. Uh, so not a whole lot, but 
when it's slow out there, you take what you can get. Uh, the big buy of the uh, day was these three uh, Military Academy uh, yearbooks, 84, 85, 86. And this right here, which is a Bugle Notes um, from 86, 1990 book. Um, really great shape, and the yearbooks are as well. Paid 5 for this, and then 15 for each of these. Um, I think I saw this one sold for like 100 which looked a little bit crazy. I think this one may have sold for 30 or 40 bucks. Didn't find that one, but didn't took, spend too much time looking. Um, I saw that these little bugle notebooks were selling pretty well. I think one had a bid at like 50 bucks um, for another year. Not this specific one, but most of them seemed to sell for at least 40 and I paid 5 for this. So um, hopefully there'll be at least um, 30 to 40 a piece in these. Plus shipping, get my money back. And then um, this one will be the probably the more profit because I only paid five and it looks like it'll be forty or fifty. So, like I said, this one I think sold for one twenty, but I don't know if that was really a fluke or maybe there's someone in there that's pretty um, reputable. A lot of times with older yearbooks, if you can find ones where uh, there's famous you know athletes or astronauts or whoever in there, sometimes they can be worth a little bit more money, especially if they happen to sign someone's yearbook. Usually the high school ones are the ones that do a little bit better, but if you can find them, um, it might be worth it to look in to see if anyone from that year graduated that may have been um, worthwhile or a notable uh, person. So that's all I got. Not a whole lot, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, should make some money on this stuff. Hopefully this Saturday I'll have a better luck sailing and I can have some more stuff to show you guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, and take care.